tuning into my YouTube channel. I really appreciate. Thank you for helping me help you be professional at what, you, at what you do. So today I want us to talk about service sequence. Service sequence is very wide, but we're going to try to narrow it so that we, we all have everyone understanding uh, basically just to have the service sequence at the tips of your fingers. Now, if you're a waiter and you need to serve a meal to guests, uh, at a seated table, from the starter to dessert until coffee, until billing. There are some basic things that you need to know as a waiter. And this is what I want to take uh, you through on that. So first things first. You need to, before you start serving, you need to go through what you call mission scene and mission place. In the culinary world, mission scene is basically the hygienic preparation of the restaurant before we start serving. And mission place is the placing of equipment, of everything in order. So as a waiter, when you come into a restaurant, you need to clean your restaurant, you need to wipe the tables, the sideboards, you need to polish your cutlaries. Now, all that is called pre preliminaries or they're also called missing scene. The tasks that you do, the tasks that are carried before service begins. This is normally one to two hours before you commence to service. The preliminaries or the mission scene and the mission place. Now, after that, after now that the cutlaries have been polished, the glasses have been polished, the plates are clean, the, the food is ready, we are good to go. Now, when the guest comes into your restaurant, you need to welcome them. You need to practice what you call social skills. Social skills is whereby you welcome your guests, you help them sit on the table. Let, don't allow your guests to sit by themselves or you're just standing there. Always welcome your guests, help them sit, pull the chair for them, let them feel comfortable, let them feel loved in your restaurant. That is what we call social skills. After you have your guest seat, you can always nap your guest and then take your beverage order. Either the guest will be having water or, or any soda or any soft drink or any alcoholic beverage, but that's okay. Always serve your guest the beverage. After serving the guest the beverage, now you can, give, you can present your menus. Now, menus are normally presented from the right-hand side of the guest. Take your menu card and present it from the right-hand side of the guest. After you've presented the menu card to the guest, allow them time, like one to two minutes or in seconds. Allow them to go through the menu so that they are able to decide what they want to eat. After the guest has decided and they want to give the order, now take the order from the left-hand side of the guest. Remember, we've presented our menu from the right-hand side of the guest, and now we want to take the order from the left-hand side of the guest. Now, the process of taking an order is called, uh, we write it in a captain order. A captain order can be either in a triplicate form or a duplicate form. Always take the order, be precise, be a good listener, make sure that you get the, the correct order that the guest has ordered. So you, you, you write a captain order from the left-hand side of the guest. After you've written the order, you need to come back to the table with your service plate and adjust. You need to adjust the table. For example, you had set complete table setup, whereby you had a table dot setup. But maybe the guest has ordered only fish, or the guest has ordered only meat. So you need to adjust the table. Adjusting the table means that you, you remove or you take away the cutlery that are not going to be used. Now you need to have your service plate. Take out excess cutlery. Like you can remove a, a, a joint knife and a joint knife. Just leave the cutlery that the guests are going to use. After you've adjusted the cover, you need to take your captain order to the chef. Take your captain order to the kitchen so that the chef can give you what you've ordered. Now, first things first. The first item that is normally served in a table dot menu is starter. Starter can either be soup or salads or whatever that the menu has to offer. So the first thing we serve on the table is starter. After you've served starter, normally starters are, are plate served. They are plated on the, on, uh, on the plate from the kitchen. So what the waiter does is just place them on, on the table. So when you're doing a plate service of the soup or of anything, you serve it from the right-hand side of the guest. So after you've served the starter, the guest has consumed the starter and you've done clearance, the next thing you do is serve what? The main course. Now the main course is we have to have three food items. Normally it's protein, uh, starch and vegetables. Of course, when you're placing your food on the table, the protein has to be on the six o'clock the starch has to be on the 12 o'clock and the vegetables can be in, on any side. Now, when you're, when you're plate serving food, please observe the rules. The, the, just put on the clock the way the clock is 12, 
6 and 9.03. So the protein has to be on the 6 o'clock part, the starch has to be on the 12 o'clock part, and the vegetables can be on either side, either on 3 or 9. That is when you're plate serving food. When you're silver serving food, for example, you're silver serving food to eight seated guests. These are the rules. You need to, to go and serve the protein first to all the guests. And then come pick the starch. Serve the starch to all the guests. And then serve vegetables to all the guests. So first things first. If, for example, on your menu, you have chips, chicken, and salad. You'll have chicken first on a platter. Then come to the left-hand side of the guest. Serve uh, the chicken. Serve all the eight pieces of chicken to the guest until all the guests have the protein. And then go back to your sideboard. Pick the starch. Serve the starch to all the eight guests until all the eight, until the, the host has been served. And then finally finish up with the vegetables. And if there's any sauce, you can serve the sauce. Allow guests to have their main course. After the guests have had their main course, now you can serve what you call dessert. Dessert can be anything. It can be ice cream. It can be cake with chocolate sauce. It can be fruit salad, whatever the guest has decided. But before we go to dessert, after the guests have eaten the main course, you need to clear the joint plates. After you've cleared the joint plates, you need to clear what? The side plates. After you've cleared the side plates, you need to do what, you need to do what we call crumbing down. Now, if you go to my previous, uh, my previous, uh, my previous videos, you will notice that I taught you how to clean to clear joint plates. On my previous videos, I taught you how to clear side plates, and on my previous videos, I've taught you how to do what we call crumbing down. So once the, once the guests have had their main course, you need to clear what the joint plates. After clearing the joint plates, you need to clear the side plates. After clearing the side plates, you need to do what we call crumbing down. If you're not conversant with the three with the, with the three types of clearance, please kindly go back to my YouTube channels in the previous sessions and learn step by step on how to do them. Now the guests have had have had their main course. We've cleared the joint plates. We've cleared the side plates. We've done what we call crumbing down. After crumbing down, the guest is now ready to have their dessert. Now, the dessert is normally plated from the kitchen. Now, anything, any food that has been plated is normally served from the right-hand side of the guest. So now you come with your plates of desserts and serve the guest from the right-hand side of the guest. After you've served the dessert and the guests have had their meals and they're done with uh, having the dessert, we do what we call clearance. And then all clearance is done from the right-hand side of the guest, with an exception of the clearance of the side plate. Now, after we are done clearing the dessert, the dessert plates, we serve coffee. No, now it depends on the guest. The guest can be having coffee or tea, but most of the guests will prefer having coffee. On your sideboard, you put your, your milk jar, your sugar dish, and your coffee, and with your cups of coffee. And then coffee is like any other type of beverage. It's served from the right-hand side of the guest. So always ask your guest how many teaspoons of sugar they'll have to have, and then serve coffee, three-quarter, and then the other part fill it with milk. And you can always start from, for your guests, or you can always centrally place the cup of coffee for guests to serve themselves. Now, while, not the word while, while the customer are having their coffee, you can always do what you call, you can write the bill. Don't wait until the customer is done eating their meal, and then now you start rushing up, up and down writing the bill. While the customer is having the humble time taking coffee, kindly prepare the bill. After you're done preparing the bill, take your side plate, the part that is written, put it down, and the part that is blank with nothing written on it, put it up and fold it a little bit. Fold the bill a little bit and then centrally place the bill or you can have it, you can give the bill to the host. So don't wait until the guest is done taking off his only rush up and down or the guest has, is done eating and he has actually asked for the bill. Now, while the customer is having the coffee, the coffee is normally the last item. You can always have, have the bill ready. Now, that is what we call the service sequence. We've done starter, we've done main course, we've done dessert, we've done coffee, and we've billed the guest. Now, social skills is also still tested here. When the customer is, is done having meals, they have paid for the bills, and now they want to go away from the restaurant, they want to go out. Please always remember that just the same way you had to help them sit, you can always help them stand up. You can help them carry their handbags, like you can pick the handbags, you can help them pick the coats, and you see the guest out. 
Now, when you're seeing your, the guest out, let me give you a tip. Always ask the guest, how was my service? Did you enjoy the service? Did you enjoy the food? Did you enjoy the ambience of the restaurant? How was it? Always have feedback from your guest. Did you enjoy the music? Or do you have any complaints? Was everything okay? That is how we test on your social skills. Let, let, let the guest give you feedback. It is very important for your marketing purposes. It is very important so that you know to correct, where to correct, where to where to uh, have thumbs up or where to reach from. So always remember to get feedbacks from your guest about everything, about the food, about yourself. Let the guest tell you that you did a good service or no, you, you were slow. And please, when the guest tell you that you, the, your service was not good, do not get mad. Just take it positively and improve on yourself. Remember, at the end of the day, we want to be professional waitress. We want to be professional waiters. After the guest is, uh, you've seen your guest out, they have given you the feedback and maybe the tip. I don't know the types of guests you're going to get. But if you have a tip, that's bravo for you. If you don't have, don't, it's okay. And then now you, now you do what you call post-service duties. When the guest is out, the table is dirty. You need to change the linen into clean linen. You need to final, do, do, do the final clearance of the restaurant. Change the linen. Uh, do the final clearance. Maybe they left the, the coffee cups on the table. They left the glasses of water on the table. Always make sure that you do the final clearance. Maybe there are spillages on the floor. There are some items that dropped on the floor. That is what you call post-service duties. Now, for this and more information about professional waiter, uh, service sequence, subscribe into my YouTube channel. Let me help you be professional at what you do. Thank you. See you soon. Choose.